Good morning from Nottingham where Australia is about to take on the West Indies and West Indies have won the toss, elected to bowl and just when they've done that the clouds have come over. What do you think Bharat? Good decision? Yes, everything is just falling into place for the West Indies because it just fits into their game plan so perfectly with that batting lineup and with now Evan Lewis added to the, the playing 11 that means Australia are throwing down the gauntlet to Australia uh, sorry West Indies are throwing down the gauntlet I'm so excited about this match sorry and it means that you know with that batting lineup they can chase down anything so when Australia are batting first how do they know what target to set? Yeah, absolutely. No changes for Australia. I think a lot of talk has been around the bouncer brigade. I think that important uh, first period of the game is going to be so crucial, isn't it? Uh, they can't let Australia get on top. Uh, Maxwell at the end, you know, we saw him play some reverse sweeps and practicing those paddles groups. I think that's important. Um, for me, a lot of this bouncy brigade, but tell us a little bit about this Sheldon Cottrell. Absolutely. See, there's been so much talk about the bouncer that people forget that the, the Gavans who take the new ball are Jason Holder and Sheldon Cottrell and both swing the ball. And we talk about pressure. Sheldon Cottrell has dealt with pressure of a different kind all his life. He was a soldier and the reason he does the salute is not really for fun. It is like a tribute to the soldiers, his brothers he lost, uh, or like you know, in action. Because there was, uh, uh, I think it was 24, when uh, he was involved in a like a, a, a like a drug war. There was a gang war happening on the streets of Jamaica, wow. and he was the gunman. Ah. He was in the front line, and he's seen his fellow soldiers drop dead in front of him. So he had once told me in an interview that he prefers balls to bullets, and he said bowling yorkers is a lot more easy than dealing with bullets. Well, you're going to talk about your opening well, I'm going to talk about the Australian fast bowler, Pat Cummins. He's got a beautiful, you know, wrist position. But if you look at his middle finger, slight top of that middle finger has actually, was actually jarred in a door when he was really young and actually had to be cut off. So if you want to go online somewhere, you'd look for Pat Cummins' fingers and you probably find a little bit has been sort of chopped off. But he's going to be crucial for Australia, especially against Chris Gale and Evan Lewis at the top. Look, it's going to be a fascinating morning. We're going to you know, bring you up to date. Make sure you stay tuned because during the halftime, we're going to have a very special guest, very special guest. biggest West Indian fan. Until then, subscribe and we'll see you soon. And rally around the West Indies.